Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be, as you can tell, a traveling video. I wanted to share some of my absolute favorite traveling tips, hacks, whatever you want to call them. I wanted to share them with you because since I will be traveling soon, I will definitely be using some of these traveling tips and hacks that I have learned over the years and I do religiously whenever I travel. So let's start off, of course, with some of the most important things that you're gonna need when traveling. Of course, a suitcase. Now I bought this many years ago and I plan on buying some new ones because this is getting a little torn up and worn out. But one of the most important things that you can get for your luggage is something, a luggage tag specifically, so you can tell that it's different from everybody else's. So I have my little luggage tag. It's a breakfast at Tiffany's and it has my information on the back with my name and my number. But that's how I always distinguish that it is my luggage and not anybody else's. Um, only once have I ever run into a problem where I almost grabbed somebody else's bag because they had almost the exact same luggage tag as I did. But that has only happened once in the 20 plus traveling uh, years that I have traveled. So let's get into some of my favorite hacks. Now I'm going to share some things with you that I learned by myself, um, that I also learned through friends, through other YouTube videos. And so let's just jump right in. So to save on space, of course, when you're traveling and if you're traveling for a very short trip, which I am going to be in just a matter of weeks, I wanna carry as little as I possibly can. So one of my favorite things to carry around with me when I travel is what looks like this. Um, it actually comes from somewhere else, um, from my birth control. Um, they, it, That's where the like birth control, you can keep it in there. Um, but I like to collect these um, and what I actually like to do with them is I like to use them as like credit card, you know, and cash holders because it's very slim. Of course, you know, I'm just using these as an example, like little rewards cards, but it's very slim. You can fit a couple of cards in there and cash and it is perfect for, you know, perfect for your pocket or a small like clutch or handbag that you're gonna be carrying with you traveling. So it is the perfect item. And actually, if you guys stay tuned to the end of the video, I'm actually gonna be giving some of these out in a giveaway, so stay tuned. One of my other favorite uh, little hacks is when it comes to us ladies and wanting to travel with jewelry, I usually have a number of different ways I like to travel with jewelry. Now, if you don't happen to have a jewelry uh, travel box, which I happen to actually have, it's really cute. It has a little mirror, some areas for, you know, to hold rings um, and earrings, and then, you know, a necklace, and then it actually has a secret compartment back here to, you know, hide any valuables. But if you don't have one of these, a really wonderful uh, alternative is to keep some of your pill bottles that you use, whether it's, you know, Tylenol or just medications that you get, keep them, take the label off. Most labels come up really, really easily. If they don't, you can always run them under some like warm water and usually take them off pretty easily. But my favorite, tra my favorite uh, hack is if you don't have a jewelry organizer uh, travel organizer like this one, I like to have the pill box. So I literally, this is my favorite way to store um, earrings or like tiny bracelets that you can fit in here. Is So I just put a pair of earrings, put another pair of dangling earrings, you close it and it is proof positive um, that it is, you know, that it's not gonna get out that you're not going to you know be searching your luggage for the pieces of jewelry that you want and it is a very small um little capsule that you can fit in between clothes or you know whatever you're packing 
Now, my next one is, let's go with just the jewelry um, itself, is when you want to, so you're probably thinking, Marlo, okay, I can fit little, you know, bracelets that I can bunch up in here and earrings, but what about traveling with necklaces? Well, I have a solution for you. Now, I'm not a fan at all of plastic straws. Um, I actually did a stop sucking challenge back about a year or so ago, and I don't normally carry plastic straws on me ever, which I will go into in my next little tip, um, which I always carry around with me, by the way. Um, but when I do have plastic straws, this is how I travel with my necklaces. So what you wanna do is you wanna open the necklace and you just want to feed it through the straw. And of course it's not gonna work on my first go here um, for the video. There we go. Oh, wait, came out. Whoops, let's try this again. There we go, perfect. You loop it through the straw you put it on a setting, and bam, you have got yourself a tangle-free way to store your necklaces. I guarantee you, you can literally just go like this, just to for it to tangle less, and you can put it in your toiletry bag, you can put it in one of the front compartments of your luggage, but it is, an, it is literally a tangle-proof way to store your necklaces when you're traveling with them. Now let's go with what I was about to say next as far as straws go, is like I mentioned, I uh, participated and have been very good about the challenge to not to use plastic straws. So what I do use and what I keep with me is a stainless steel straw. I actually have a brush, um, a brush that came with it and I will try to, I will try if I remember um, as best as I can to link down the straws like from, um, I got them from Amazon. I will try to link them down below. Um, so if like you want a set of them and I constantly carry these stainless steel straws with me wherever I go, whether it's traveling or just day to day. Um, and if I ever go somewhere and I'm in need of a straw, I refuse the straw anywhere I go, restaurants, wherever and I take out my straw and I use it. And then before I leave, I just do my best to clean it or to put it in the carrying case that I use, you know, that I have in my purse or that I have traveling and make sure to clean it afterwards. The next little hack um, is, I know it may seem silly, most of you may not have it, but these, a lot of these items, some of which I'm gonna be mentioning in the next minute or two, are items that you can find really, really cheaply um, at Dollar Tree. You'll only, be, of course, be paying a dollar. Is a little sewing kit. Now, I have had this one for years. I don't use it quite often because I thankfully don't need to. But I promise this is a wonderful thing to have. Um, it usually has just the general colors. Mine has black, white, um, green, blue, and red. Um, and it, so it just has like the basic colors that you're gonna need. So if you need to do, you know, a quick little fix to a piece of clothing or something, you know, ripped and you wanna repair it really quickly, you'll definitely be glad you had this in your suitcase, in your luggage. Now, my next thing that I wanted to share with you all is um, for anybody that wears hair ties, such as, you know, myself, um, I have my hair wrapped in a bun, but I'm a person who religiously puts my hair up. And so when I travel, I, and just really every day, I actually keep all of my hair ties on a ring like this. Um, it, I think I got it at like Family Dollar or Dollar Tree, and it was just like a bunch of hair elastics that came on, like that came with this ring for a good way to like store them. Um, so this is what I use actually every day and this is really good to travel with but if you're not going to be traveling and um, if you are going to be traveling but you're not going to be traveling with a lot of hair elastics hair bands and you just want something really small really simple 
a carabiner, which can also be found um, at the Dollar Tree. Um, get a little carabiner and literally just go like this. And there you have your own little hair tie way to, you know, store your hair ties. It's minimal. You can, of course, you know, put it in any toiletry bag or in somewhere in your luggage. And it's just a really easy way to not, you know, really easy way to store them and really easy way to travel with them when you don't want to make sure that they get lost. Now, my next one is a really cool hack that I'm sure you all have seen in other, in other videos is when you are bringing lotions or liquids and you have to abide by like that three ounce or less rule, but you don't want the item to spill. Here is what you do. You take a piece of cling wrap like this, you put it over the cap, and then put it on, and ta-da! It is a spill-proof way to travel with your liquids and not worry about them opening and ruining any gifts, any you know clothes, anything that's in your luggage. It is literally a spill-proof way to travel with liquids or lotions of any kind. Also, on the long on al along the lines of all of that, sorry, um, is something I also like to travel with is a little manicure kit. This can also be found at Dollar Tree. And FYI, this video is not sponsored by Dollar Tree. I wish it was. Dollar Tree, if y'all want to hit me up for a sponsorship, I wouldn't say no, ever. Um, but anyway, so I like to travel just with a little manicure kit because you never know when you're going to need one of these. Um, and it's always good, of course, to have a nail trimmer, um, to, have, uh, to have the little clips. And the perfect thing is too, a lot of these have like this hole at the, um, at the top. Um, sorry, I don't mean to be like flicking you guys off. Um, but the little hole at the top is, uh, you, the great thing about the little hole on top is I don't know exactly what it's for other than putting it through a keychain, but that's what I do with it is I t attach it to keys that I'm carrying or I attach it to something like with a little string or whatever um, if it's not in here so that I always have it on hand. But it's always just good to have these little items because you never know when you're going to need them. And usually when you um, and usually when you pack them thinking that you're not going to use it, you end up using a lot of these items. My next one is, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, is, oh, perfect. So next way to travel um, as far as, you know, tips and hacks that I'm doing here is at the Dollar Tree, buy yourself, I think it comes in like a four or six pack of shower caps just like this clear um, clear ones that you can buy I'm pretty sure it comes in like a six or eight pack and what the best way when you're traveling with shoes that I like to do is I will take my shoes and I will put them in the shower cap and then put them on top of my clothes or on top of whatever is in the luggage obviously usually it's clothes or presents or whatever um, but it is a perfect way to keep any dirt off of what is in your luggage um, and I have used this hack so many times it is absolutely ridiculous um, and it's just a really great way to travel with shoes and not have to worry about anything in your luggage getting dirty now of course if you're traveling internationally like I will be it is important to have a passport holder um, or well a passport but always having a passport holder is nice so I have my Ann Tainter one, and I will link uh, Ann Tainter down below if you would like to check out like this retro vintage kind of holder. Um, I have a couple of items from Ann Tainter, and I absolutely love all of the merchandise that Ann Tainter makes. And then of course I have my passport, and there's some areas for you know identification if you wanna use this like as a wallet, while you're traveling, you can put, you know, some cards. There's an open area here to put some cash. 
So it's a really great thing, especially like if it's not a long trip or even if it is, to use this as a wallet because then you always have identification on you and you don't have to travel with an additional wallet. Um, and on the plus side, if you wanna still use like this kind of idea, just in the meantime, when you're, you know, as you're going through customs or before, well, before you go through customs, but be and before you get to your destination, is the really great thing about this is it slips right into here. So you can just carry this, and then once you get to your destination, you just pull this out and then put this in your pocket or small bag, you know, that you're using. Next thing is for your camera. If you're bringing a digital camera or if you're bringing your phone. Now, I was gifted this a while back and I've actually used this a couple of times, so I'm excited to bring it along with my next trip just because um, my next trip is in a few weeks and it's gonna be so exciting and I can't wait to get a lot of pictures, is my little kit here, um, my little lens kit here. Oop, um, that's one of the lenses. Luckily it didn't scratch. Um, there's two lenses here and it just simply, you take this, you attach it to your, you know, to your phone. I'm using my phone to film this video so I can't attach it to my phone right now. And then you literally just kind of like screw this on and let's see if this one will go on just for, yep, perfect. And then you put this on, you put it on the lens and then bing, bang, boom you are all ready to take um, super zoomed in or zoomed out shots, um, zoomed in, you know, zoomed in or zoomed out pictures, shots, pictures, whatever you wanna call them. So I like to travel with this little container and it comes in like a really durable container, which is totally awesome, that I don't ever have to worry about losing any of those lenses or them getting damaged in any way, shape or form. Uh, some of my last things here that I wanted to share with you is it is always good no matter where you're traveling and obviously depending on where you're staying it's always good to have a plastic bag on hand now I am a total lover of reusable tote bags um, wherever I go whether it's shopping or you know running errands, like whether it's shopping running errands getting groceries go to the farmers market all of that but occasionally when, you know, the, on the off chance I do get a plastic bag, I like to save them and actually put them in my luggage for as a laundry bag. Cause if, you know, especially if it's a short trip or you're staying with somebody and you're not staying at like a hotel that has laundry services for you to be able to use, then it is always good to have a little makeshift laundry bag so you can put all of your dirty clothes in here you tie it up at the end of your trip, put it in your luggage, so it's a great way to keep all of your dirty laundry away from any clean clean clothes that are left in, the, in your luggage, and then you know exactly what needs to go into the wash and what doesn't. Now, some other last minute items here, um, and like I mentioned, there is a giveaway, so stay tuned in a few minutes is some of the last items that you wanna travel with um, that are really good to travel with are, of course, a selfie stick. Um, and I have mine, I haven't used it yet actually since I bought it, but I'm definitely planning on taking this on my upcoming trip because I know there will some, definitely be some really, really great uh, days and evenings to be able to get some really awesome family shots because I'm going to be spending time with family. So I want to get some really good shots so I figured a selfie stick was the way to go. I literally picked this up at Target for, it was in the one, in the, uh, in the like one spot um, area, the area right when you enter Target, y'all know what I'm talking about, the area that like has items for sale for one, three dollar, uh, $1, three dollars, or five dollars, um, Bullseye's Playground, that's what it's technically called, um, but everything there is five dollars or less. So that's where I got this, so if you want a cheap um, but really good selfie stick, you can get one at Target, I know they're also available at five below, um, so go get yourself one. I bet you anything, you will be very glad you did the next time you travel 
because you'll probably want to pull it out and use it quite quite often now another item especially if you're going anywhere with water um, if you're going to the ocean or if you're going um, to you know a river or wherever it is always good to have a waterproof uh, pouch that you can put your phone in to protect your phone but still be able to take awesome videos awesome pictures um, and this one actually comes with a lanyard so you can uh, wear it while your phone is in here and it gives you all of the like little instructions here at least mine does um, of how best to use it how to clean it all of that good stuff so this is a wonderful thing to have like I said if especially if you're doing anything with water and you want to bring your phone and you make and you want to make sure it doesn't get wet this is your best bet and then my last few items is of course you're gonna to want to bring something to charge your phone right to take all those videos and all those pictures well you're certainly gonna need a charger it's always good to have these little power banks you can really buy these anywhere nowadays um, some of my favorite places to get like a little power bank uh, five below Target they also sell them like in the bullseye playground the one spot area TJ Maxx Marshalls Ross you name it they're always selling power banks for like 10 bucks or less um, and it is always good to have one of these it obviously comes with you know the cord to attach to your phone or your iPad whatever device you're taking um, but it's always good to have these and then a second use for that pill bottle that I mentioned earlier is if you take a second one it's a great way to store the power cord when you're not using it and when you're traveling is the pill bottle um, I mean there's so many wonderful uses for these little reusable plastic pill bottles um, so with that oops, sorry there with that I am going to be doing a giveaway as I mentioned so in the giveaway you will be winning I I'm gonna pick two winners and some of these winners are gonna be getting completely different stuff some of them are gonna be getting different different items so one lucky winner will get a I'm gonna put the pill box down because y'all won't be getting that I'm sure you have enough already um, and or you know can borrow some uh, from a couple of people um, but one lucky winner will be getting the waterproof pouch for your phone and two lucky winners will be winning the power banks that I have I have one in silver one in wood and you of course you will get the charging cable with it and then as I mentioned these little pouches I am going to be giving each winner I think there's six here yeah there's six here I'm gonna be giving each winner six of these so they can obviously use them in their traveling they can give them to friends for when you know friends and family travel they can give them to them so make sure um, to be able to enter this travel giveaway I want to hear where you guys have traveled to so to enter the giveaway I want you to make sure to mention in the comments down below the farthest place you have traveled and the word travel so all you need to do is really just put travel dash and then the farthest location you've ever been to um, and it can be in the US if you've only traveled in the US it can be around the world wherever is literally the farthest place that you have traveled to I want to hear about it because I want to learn more about you all so thank you so much for tuning in to my channel and make sure to comment down below to enter the giveaway and I will be announcing the winner about a week from when this video airs and I will be and I will make sure to contact those winners so I can get your prizes out to you guys um, and a one a couple of like I said the each winner will receive some of the same stuff uh, like the little card cases and the power banks and then some will be getting some other stuff as well so y'all will have to stay tuned 
Um, thanks again for watching this video. I apologize if it was a little long, but I just wanted to share some of my favorite hacks and tips with y'all. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day or evening whenever you're watching this. Please make sure to subscribe down, uh, down below with the red, uh, pressing the red button. Subscribe, make sure to hit that bell button so you get notified whenever I upload. Comment down below to participate in the giveaway. Don't forget because I want to send these items away so you guys can have some free travel tips, um, some tra free travel hacks to travel with the next time you are. And that's it. So I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.